sprinting away from that 1200 meter marker Towards the outside, Captain's Lovers, one of the first out of the gates. Bintel Malak is right there shortly after the start. Wiley's Lash just tucked away with twice over Saturn. Rainbow Row is right there. Bintel Malak is very quick. Simply Russians in the yellow towards the left. Chanel Elia is going the quickest on the left-hand side. Jaden Shrey is also right there. Then comes Jack's Bird, followed by Cabriol. Rainbow Rose off them. Once again, they're right across the track, and there's only about three, four lengths covering the whole lot. On the outside, Captain's Love just about the leader. Jaden Schreyer's right there, followed by Wiley's Last, twice over Saturn. Behind that, Bint El Malak, and then comes in Rapture. On the inside, Simply Russian. They are followed by towards the inside of that one, also trying to get in as Winter Sun. Winter Retreat is also running on. Coming to the 200, though, Captain's Love hard up on the outside is still clear. And it's Captain's Love going to take some catching, though. And Captain's Love, Jack's Bird's running on late, but it goes to Captain's Love. Jack's Bird, Simply Russian, and Jaden Shreyo. So the victory for number one, Captain's Love, not in your picture, but the lateral wins it under Jason Gates, Clinton Binder, they showed pace from the word go, and yes, Captain's Love coming through to record its victory 17th time at the track. And uh, in its last couple of runs, I don't know if this horse has been in KwaZulu-Natal before, but it wins it. Wins it by about three. Jack's Bird at number 13 will run into that second position. Simply Russian in third. Then Jaden Schreyer. So we continue to run it. Winter Retreat is further back, and then came Winter Sun. The toad favourite was number 14, and that's Simply Russian. Number one pays up at 770. You'll see the rider he keeps looking over his shoulder, but they were clear of the opposition. And the daughter of Lateral continues to go extreme right hand side, and it goes to Captain's Love, who is victorious in the running of the eighth and last year at Scottsville. At second position, We'll go to number 13, Jack's Bird at 590. It was paying 41 Rand a win, so a nice exactor. Craig Peters signing off. It's well done to Dream Star Racing, uh, Mr. Binder, also the nominee, and I see Mr. Saudi has bred this horse as well. This is a 15,000 Rand purchase, and nice to see her break the duck. And just catching up with another Clinton on my right, who is assistant to Clinton Binder. And Dom, uh, well, he'll remember Clinton. Clinton, come through. You were many, many years with Dom Zaki, weren't you? Yeah, close to 10 years. I was a Dominic, yeah. Good man. He taught me, taught me everything from the beginning. Well, now he's Dom the Bomb, Zaki. <laughs> now he's Dom the Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you, you got the grounding. And how long have you been at Clinton now? I've been with Clinton two years now. Uh, yeah. Doing very well. Good horseman. He's taught me a lot of new things as well. And he's given me a lot of chances. So you, you're traveling the horses whenever you guys want to raid KZN or wherever else. Do you go with the horses, Clint? Yeah, we have our, ch uh, we have our chances. You know, Watson, I know you know Watson yeah, as well. True, Watson true. drives up and down. I drive up and down. Clinton will come down on the odd occasion. Uh, it's hard work. <laughs> well, you're part of a, a great team. And uh, this individual today, this, uh, this filly, you guys, how was the mood? Uh, we were a bit worried she hangs like hell. No. But she had a 16 draw. I said to Jason, stick on the paint. Keep the, uh, the stick in your right hand. And just don't panic with her. Uh, he rode her to the tee. I think he, if he went a bit faster, he would have probably won further with her. Sure. <laughs> uh, but it was a good run, and, and I'm happy with Jason. Well done to Mr. and Mrs. Binder and to our sponsors, Hollywood Bets. She's taking a bit of time, but nice to see her break the duck. Uh, I, I thought she'd battle to win a, a race in the beginning of her career. You know, she is the half sister to Captain's Girl of Louis Horsen, yes. which has showed a lot of promise. But, you know, I don't know. She's a lateral. Maybe she'll start winning races uh, as a four year old, five year old. She'll win a bit more. Well, Clinton, nice catching up and give our uh, best to the, the boss, Clinton, which is Binda, and uh, wish him all the best here because uh, this filly has certainly done him proud this afternoon. Thank you, Diesel. Appreciate it. Lovely. Nice one, Clinton. Let's get Jason Gates in. And uh, Jason, uh, well, you haven't, yeah, you haven't uh, sat on her before, but I'm sure you would have had a look at her form and you've seen how quick she is. And, you know, that always stands you in good stead when, when you've got a quick filly down the straight at Scottsville. You, you know, if you can pinch it you, and you run on, you can win it. 
Yes, uh, um, uh, yeah, so th this really was hanging quite badly, but I got a heads up from uh, uh, just about everyone. So, um, Cabello, I need to thank him because he was the first to give me like more or less an idea of what to do. Um, so, so yeah, thanks to him. Uh, thanks to Mr. Benda for giving me the support and stuff, the opportunity. It's uh, I, I've had two winners out of three for them now. Yes. Um, I'm doing really well for them. I hope it carries on that way. Um, and yeah, so this filly is really gutsy and she just carried on going. I think I scraped the rail once or twice. <laughs> I, had to get, I had to get her off the rail. I actually could feel the rail next to me quite close. But um, yeah, she just, uh, eventually I sat and I just looked at the rest of the crowd. Um, no, it wasn't. Well, thankfully you went drawn one. Imagine if she was hanging towards the outside then. Um, if she was, I would have probably gone a little bit on and then came across. You had a plan. You had, you had a plan. Yes, yeah, sir. Well, you, you're riding full of confidence and uh, nice to get one on the board today. How many winners now, young man? Um, 35. Things went well for you and uh, how are you on the log here in KZN? Is it, is it quite tight in KZN? Um, I think Luke is at the moment in front by five winners, I think. Okay, okay. So uh, things went well. So it's a, it's a race to the line now between yourself and Ferraris in KZN? Yes, it is. <laughs> well, you've had some time off as well, which, uh, you know, set you back a bit. Yes, uh, exactly. But um, I'm very confident uh, and I'll, I'll give my best. I really want to get it. Uh. Well, I, I like the way you're going confidence, not only in your riding, in your interviews as well. It's good. So well done here, Jason. Thank you. Um, I would also just to like to thank um, the Academy and uh, a shout out to my mom at home. Um, I really love her and for all the support she's given me my whole life, for everything she's done for me. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Well done, young man. Thank you. Lovely. That's uh, Jason Gates there riding Captain Loves to victory. 1, 13, 14 and 7. And I think that quartet, I just had a quick glance, just shy of 18,000 rand as well. Big quartets, big results. If you find yourself in the winner's queue in any of the races, well played this afternoon at Scottsville. you really done well to come through. Well, that's it and a wrap. And let's uh, have our thank yous now. Of course, a big thank you to Craig Peters, calling all eight races. We had a whole host of guys in the OB van. We had uh, Mr. Fish and Mr. Chips, or Mr. Chips and Mr. Fish, Denver, Matthew. And it started off with assimilation as well. But a meeting will never go by without the mention of the best and hardest working cameraman on course, who is none other than Zane. For myself, Dees Dynan, you enjoy what's left of your week. And we'll see you on Saturday where we have top class racing coming to you from Gravel. Until then, take care. Salani Gashle. Well, now for our star or ride of the day, and it was between two, race number four, number five, Keeneland Dynasty, and race number three, Connect Me, and I gave the boys in the OB van the choice, Mr. Fish and uh, Mr. Chips, uh, to make the choice between Keeneland Dynasty and Connect Me, and they've gone with number five, Keeneland Dynasty, so sorry about that, Stu, I thought uh, it was a joint uh, a dead heat, should I say, between the two. But let's go to Keenan Dynasty winning over 2,400 meters with Donovan Dillon. Keelan Dynasty still the leader, Bella Ferris, and on the outside is World Cruise as they come down to the last 200 meters. And now Bella Ferris, Keelan Dynasty, and World Cruise is nagging away at them, the three of them across the track. Keelan Dynasty, World Cruise, and Bella Ferris, there's nothing, the three of them coming down to the line. Keelan Dynasty won it though.